If you are planning your own fireworks display this weekend, best of luck to you actually finding those. Yeah, fireworks. you can add fireworks to the long list of shortages that have been caused by the pandemic. Experts blame shipping delays from China. CBS 17's Mackenzie Stasco <laughs> live in Raleigh. And Mac, we're just a few days away from the 4th of July. How is this impacting our local vendors? Well, Angela, the good news is vendors like this one are set up all across the city of Raleigh. But because supply is limited, when you walk in, you'll have to prepare to pay a little more. I have seen an increase in the prices. Liz Gary says this year's supply of fireworks is much smaller, but the prices have shot up. The 36 inch morning glories were $7 last year, and those are $9 this year. So that's definitely an increase. The perfect show and the centennial kind of complement each other. Um, that was 129 last year, and that's 149 this year. Sam Nolte sells fireworks out of this tent off of Wade Avenue. He's experiencing the same thing. I think there's been small price raises on pretty much everything. Yeah, pretty much across the board. While the cost for an at home celebration is higher, both vendors still expect to sell out. Because COVID is still very much in existence, a lot of people do want to do something a little bit more intimate at home. And so, therefore, they're still coming in here and they're still purchasing fireworks so that, you know, they can have things on a smaller scale. And you'll definitely want to come in and grab them before they're gone because what you see on these tables here in this tent off of New Bern, this is what they have left. And just a reminder, certain fireworks like bottle rockets, Roman candles, fireworks that explode or fire up into the air, those are all illegal here in North Carolina. But what you see and what you buy in tents like these are permitted and they are allowed. Again, we are at the one off of New Bern in the Walmart parking lot, but we have a list of other ones posted on our website. For now, live in Raleigh, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News.